she's still a remarkable woman and an amazing first lady. Years ago, I had thought of doing a play about both Roosevelt's. And the more and more I just focused on Eleanor, the more I was impressed by her. I really fell in love with the play as a, as a text, as a sort of poetic uh, meditation on the soul's journey. They've always been strong men, they've always been strong women, but she's just, not everybody's a superstar. And she was truly Eleanor Roosevelt rock star. Consciously, I was looking for one person to follow rather than a storyline involved with others. It's like spinning plates. You, you can't go from character to character, so you have to kind of streamline what you want to say, but you also have to kind of cut it up into digestible portions. I was feeling very moved at the idea of coming back to a theater, and my initial impulse was to have it be a very simple set that used uh, a platform, a chair, a curtain, and lights and sound, you know, like the most basic elements of theater. It's been one of the best experiences I've ever had. I can't really think of one that's been better.